Hi everyone, we're about to start session number 22. As you can see, our area looks a little bit different. Decided to change it up there. Let's get our legs warmed up and moving. Um, yeah, decided to change it up there and sort of run the session in our backyard there. I'm, I'm, I'm sure over the couple of the last weeks there, we've been speaking about some different uh, uh, things we've got growing in the backyard and front yard. So yeah, I can sort of point out a couple of them in different spots there. And just at the top there, you can see our big ornamental grapevine. I mentioned that we had got a couple of them there. It's starting to shoot up and look really nice. Crush your legs up, big glute stretch. Yeah, nice that it's all sort of uh, coming about. Yeah, come along. And we've got some big pot plants of gardenias in the back here that we sometimes move around there just to try to find that right spot for it. Uh, and you guys can't see, but just up over here, we've got a nice orchid that's uh, yeah, got uh, from my nunna, I think, passed it down to my mum, and I think we taxed it off mum. <laughs> There's a couple of orchids down there growing that I can give you a quick little tour very much at the end there. But uh, yeah, we thought we'd change up the environment. Always good, switch over legs, especially now that the weather's been getting a little bit nicer and, and Saturday and Sunday was just wonderful. Um, yeah, sun was out and it was just uh, just good to get out and about, for sure, especially if you feel comfortable leaving your home and just going for a little bit of a walk and you know, we're pretty lucky here we can sort of keep ourselves uh, socially distancing away from everyone, um, as well as getting a little bit of the sunshine into it. Jump onto the quad stretch. Um, today's session is going to involve some of the dumbbells. We're going to touch base a little bit on some of that lower back training that we've done in previous sessions. Um, I I wanted just slightly, just a little build up to it, but with a little bit of upper body strength as well. So if you've got those dumbbells, awesome, bring them down. Otherwise, if you're using some cans of you know, anything you've got at home, some chickpeas, lentils, whatever it is, if it's a 440 gram can, just making sure that you get your fingers around it to grip onto it. Switch over legs. Cool, and uh, yeah, today's uh, Monday afternoon there, so it's uh, yeah, it's quite nice at the moment out here there, and hoping that everyone is yeah, feeling a little bit sort of better. Um, the restrictions are starting to drop down a little bit more, which is super exciting. I think as of now, we're able to sort of get ourselves down to some parks and stuff, and sort of move around a little bit, especially if you've got young kids or you're minding some kids. Um, yeah, just to give them the opportunity to move around. That's always a nice one. I think everyone's just, um, yeah, a bit excited about increased social interaction with other people. I think that's always a good spot. Good, hamstring stretch. Good, bring yourself there. Sit yourself over the top, give it a good stretch up. And as always, really appreciate all the feedback I'm getting. Just helps me develop these sessions and really try to, um, yeah, point them in a the direction that everyone's really enjoying. Um, so if there's anything in particular you'd like to see for future sessions, please let me know. I'll do my best to accommodate for all of them. We can keep building on it all. Good, lean over the top there, get a good little swivel. Nice and loosen all up there. Switch over legs. Yeah, I'm wondering what you guys can actually see in the back here. So this tree that's sitting just behind us there is a dwarf, um, it is a dwarf mandarin, that's the one. Dwarf mandarin. We've got uh, is that a camellia, a big camellia, and then we've got a hydrangea back here, back corner over here. You guys can't quite see, but we've got a mint plant, and yeah, a big gardenia. It's uh, yeah, it's a big one that one. It just seems to um, yeah, when we had bought it, it was already quite big itself there, and um, yeah, just make sure I give it a specific mixture that it needs to. It seems to be all real happy, and sometimes eating Lulu might come into the picture. Yeah, they haven't been for one drought, that's always nice. Car stretch. <laughs> you gonna come say hello, Edie? No, she's just gonna stand around. Make her look like I'm talking to myself. Yeah, nah, she'll hang around there. They may come in and out, that's okay. Good, switch over legs. Last little part of our warm up, we'll have a quick drink and we'll jump straight into it. Oh, that's it, just move the hips around a little bit to shake everything out if you need to. Good, and have top stretch, but lean right over the top. I don't have quite as much room up over here, but that's okay. As always, wherever you're doing your training, as long as you've got a little bit of room to move around in. And you feel safe, that's important. Okay, awesome. All right, grab yourself your drink bottle, have yourself a quick drink, grab those dumbbells if you got them, and then we'll get straight into it. You gotta run the session, Evie. <laughs> Now you're not going out the side now. <laughs> Alright, well let's get on with it there. So leaning yourselves forward, we're going to go with hammer grip curls. So again, I'm leaning just slightly forward, so I'll show you that laterally. It's nice, we're just to get the top of our body really pumping. Lean ourselves just slightly forward with those arms. Chest up nice and tall. Let's get a little bit of speed going here. Awesome. Good, pump it up there. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Rotate around, go straight to shoulder press. So I'm going to spin myself around. I might just take a little bit longer, just a bit wet as we go through this. Good shoulder press, double arm. Good, take it at a time. I do not have my back against the chair. I'm sitting upright, really ensuring I squeeze my glute as I then press this above my head. Good, take your time. You go at your speed. So you're going to need to go really fast, nice and slow. Completely up to you the speed you want to bring to the table. Three, two, one, they're calm. Excellent, reverse fly, lean ourselves over the top. We really want to just let our body just fold over the top, bring the weights out to the side. Good, if you didn't have any weights, just playing it with just your arms is fine for us. If you've got weights, obviously grab it onto them there. And please take the time, the higher you bring them up, the harder it is, and try to bring it back and behind me as well. <laughs> Are you getting involved, Edie, or not? No, not today. All right. Good work through it there. Three, two, one more. There we go. <laughs> so it's better be cheeky. Hammer grip curl, shoulder press. So we're going to mix both of these movement pads together. Hammer and shoulder press. There we go. <laughs> She's having a bit of a stiff. We've got some nasturtiums growing here. And she's uh, AD. Leave her. <laughs> AD. That'd be a bit too spicy for you. There you go. Good girl. Uh, it's funny, when the camera goes on, that's when she becomes her genius. Yeah, she's putting on the show for everyone. They can't see you when you're doing this, Edie. <laughs> Three, <to> go. <laughs> Two. <laughs> one more. Oh, well, there's always one in every fat man's a little cheeky. Ladder raises, let's go for a team. <laughs> ah, she did good. She did good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, makes you laugh there. You guys can't see all the off-scene stuff there, but uh, Amy was just calling her over and she was refusing to listen. <laughs> just thinking, nope, I'm not coming too. One more. Excellent. So we're going to do some standing up back exercises. <laughs> she keeps life interesting, that's for sure. So slide drop of legs, stick in your bum back, just leaning slightly over. And we want to drive those elbows out behind us there. So nice and strong, strong drive up. Good, I'll show that front on. Just making sure I'm really driving those elbows back behind me. You've got this team. Oh, right, just come back out for a second round. Excellent. Three, two, one. Good, my suggestion. Have a bit of a break off the um, dumbbells for a bit. And the second round, we'll use the dumbbells for our rolling exercise. So bring yourself forward, pull back. Wherever you've got the dumbbells, make sure they're nowhere near where you're going to step. So just pop one to the side, take your time forward, strong row back. There we go. Just remind everyone what that looks like. Put those dumbbells out of the way. In front, and try yourself coming forward, pull back there. What I like about this, squeeze your bum to really bring yourself up nice and tall, is you get your glute, your lower back, and then that pull faces all your upper back into this there. Like I said, the second round when we come back and do this movement again, we'll have the dumbbell, so we'll make it a little bit harder. Two. One more. Yes, all right. Good. I want you to start with one dumbbell for this one here, and then we'll go to the second dumbbell. So I want you to bring the dumbbell up, extend it, bring it down to your chest. Extend it up, bring it down to your chest. I'll show you what that looks like. Good. Extend it, bring it down to your chest. Just with one dumbbell. Now you control the speed here, team. Faster you go, the harder it gets. Slower and controlled. A little bit easier there. So take your time as you go through it. And then you can build that speed in as it goes along. Three. Two. Good stuff, team. One more. Oh, yeah. Give that a bit of a break. Grab yourself both dumbbells now. We're going to do a little bit of forearm work. The really cool part is no matter how sore your shoulders are or how fatigued they are, you can always do plenty of forearm work. Go through it all. <laughs> she just likes being out here when other people are out here. That's what the fun is. Good, let it curl down, curl it up and over. Excellent. Two. One more. Excellent. Swing around side to side. Yes. 
and for all those in our chair exercise class they would have met Edie oh what four and a half years ago when we first uh yeah, when we first uh, brought her in which was really cool and that would have sent a little cute little puppy running around there now she's just a bigger version more furrier <laughs> still the same cheeky behavior though which is good it's good to know nothing changes good ed <laughs> And knuckles up. <laughs> uh, she's quality. She's quality. She knows when the camera's on. She knows when she needs to be a bit naughty. All right. Four. Three. Good forearm work. Two. One. Cool thing about that forearm work is you can go as fast as you want. You should notice some good amount of fatigue through those forearms. You might even notice at the end of it, even for me personally, you just need to shake out your hands a little bit because it does load up a little bit. And you'll notice you don't need heavy dumbbells to make that work really well. Good, relax your shoulders, draw them back. We're just going to turn external through your shoulders. These are our little rotator cuffs in our shoulders, keeping these nice, nice and strong. Keeps our shoulder health really good. So we can keep working on this. Three. Two. I'm not very good at counting, guys. One more. Excellent. We're going to do one last one there before we stand up and do some upper body movements. Once you lean slightly forward, an upright row. To control it, pull it up. I'll show what this looks like side on. You keep going at your speed, team. Good, again. Notice I'm leaning just slightly forward, pull it up through this. Yes. We're doing great. Four, three, two, one more. Yeah. Take yourself a little quick drink break. Whew. Move it all around there. I'm gonna add the upper body standing stuff just after this quick drink break, it'll be good. Not tea this time, going water. <coughs> all right, so I've just popped the chairs out to the side there just to give myself a little bit more room, making sure that my <coughs> environment's nice and safe. Good, want to get our legs up nice and high there. So we've done this one plenty of times. You get to choose your speed here, team. Low legs, lower the arms. Nice and simple. The harder you get those legs, the more I swing those arms, the harder it gets. Nice and rotate into the side. Yes. This is probably a good day for it, too. It's not too windy, so I'm hoping everyone's able to hear me really good with my Bluetooth PC. We should be good to go. All right, let's keep those arms and legs going. Good, really see if you can go up a little bit higher again. You know, that's why they get a heart rate up. Get our arms pumping, legs pumping, everything's working. All right. Three, two, one. Good standing overhead tricep extension. So what we're gonna do is bring both arms up, control it behind the back, extend back up. Control it behind the back of your head, extend back up. So of course, overhead tricep extensions. Oh yeah, plenty of fun here. Okay, taking our time. Good, you can make this a tiny bit easier if you'd like to by, by sitting down on the chair and then executing that movement pattern there. You can absolutely still continue doing it standing up. Makes it a little bit harder and then you can alter it up by going faster or slower. You can control your speed. All right. Three, two, one. Excellent. Another one for our back health, and we've done this a couple of times, which is our deadlift. So slight bend in knees, letting the dumbbells run along your thighs, bum goes back, keeping your back nice and flat. Squeeze your bum, stand up nice and tall. This is about getting glute and hamstring involved, as well as your lower back muscle groups. To execute this movement, taking our time. Good, the key here is my knees are slightly bent. I keep the dumbbells close to my body. Big squeeze of glute to stand up tall. And notice I'm very relaxed through the top half of my body. I'm not holding any tension. I'm not struggling to try to hold tension. I'm keeping everything nice and relaxed through there. Big squares of glute, stand up tall. Two to go. One more. Awesome. We're going to spend and do some one arm dumbbell rows. So you can definitely use d double dumbbells. So you want to basically get both hands around, or one hand around both of them, sorry. Um, sometimes 
I find I just hold one of them and let the other one sort of just sitting over the top here. That's what that looks like for me. I'm just basically holding the one underneath and the other one just sort of sits over the top of it there. Cool. So from that point, one knee down, one foot, scoot your back behind, grab it, hold, pulling up there, so we call it a one arm row. Notice I'm keeping my back nice and parallel to the surface area of the floor, and this just keeps it really nice and strong and stable. Pull it up by driving my elbows back behind my body. Good, I'll just show that flat on, so you can see it's straight on. That's all about keeping everything very squared. So I'm not, let see, I pop that, I'm not all twisted out or twisted up or rotated when I'm doing this movement. I keep everything squared. I'm looking nice. If you imagine me like a box just being able to do that movement. Good. Once you've done one side, please do the other. And again, you have an option. You can use both dumbbells, one dumbbell. You can use no dumbbell. You can also go a tiny bit faster. You notice that's a bit harder. Has a little bit of like a long mower pull sort of feel to it. Otherwise, nice and controlled. It's the way I'd like to see you do it for us, team. Come on, stay in strong. Doing great. Four. Three. Two. Great for our back strength. One more. Excellent. Take this out of seat. We're going to do a three point shoulder press this time. So, the way we do this is we start with our dumbbells together. We rotate them externally. Press it above their head. Bring it back down. Internally rotate it. Taking our time going through those movements. External rotation. Press, bring it back down, internal. And just go through it at your pace. Definitely the faster you go through this, the harder it's gonna be. Just go at a nice pace for you. Challenging, but not so challenging that you're unable to get all movements in there. So really important that we get that internal and then external movements. Good, again, my back is not touching the chair. Sure enough, if I wanna make it a teeny bit easier, I could sit back on my chair. And I've just noticed how a few birds fly overhead. I've just noticed that this is a little bit simpler for me to do. But if you feel comfortable, sit, pardon me, sit upright on your chair. It is your best bet. Two. One more. Yes. All right, so this one's going to be a little bit different. We call it a gorilla row. So what you're going to do, yeah, interesting name for it, I know. You want to lean yourself forward and you want to pull one up at a time. Just notice my body position. Good, so I'm really trying to get my chest to just rest a little bit on my thighs. So I show this laterally. Dumbbells on either side. My chest is resting nearly on my thighs there. Good, and then one after each other. What I'm not doing is just letting everything just flop over it and sort of holding a really bad back posture position. But I'm trying to push my bum back and flatten out my back there. So if that's what you do in this position, that's cool. If you've got to only do it on a slight incline, no problem. But the more you can get yourself over, you're just going to make it a bit more challenging. So find that right level for you, team. Good. Once you've found that level, then one after each other. You'll be calling it a gorilla row. There's a few different variations. So you can pull it from the middle piece if you only have one dumbbell. So if you only have one dumbbell, you could do this. Pull one up, drop it down. Pull the other one up, drop it down. And you can keep playing with that. And that's a slight little variation too. So if you've got two, why not use both of them at the same time? There's some gorilla rows or alternating rows. Three, two, one more. All right, stand yourself up tall. Ooh, shake those legs out. We're gonna get them working nice and strong here. So what we're gonna do is holding both dumbbells. We're calf raising, we're pushing off our toes. Good, if you need to use your chair, my suggestion is just have it by your hips so it can just help keep you nice and stable versus having to hold on to it. If you feel that's too tough still, definitely hold on to it then. You can put both dumbbells in one hand if you need to. Cool, otherwise, so take it out of the way. Otherwise, keep going that calf raise. Good, so now it's about driving that knees up. One after each other. Good, let's see if we can get our heart rate up. How about this? We're gonna hold this for a full minute. Right, we're gonna go 30 seconds at this pace. And then we're gonna incorporate and get our arms working because then my goal is to have a quick little drink break, finish off with a couple of last exercises and give me a few more minutes. Sorry, I was talking a little fast there. All right, 15 seconds for me team. Legs are moving good. And then we're gonna incorporate the arms. Should get our heart rate up a little bit more. Yes, legs up, legs up. Trying to get them in parallel. Three, two, 
for one, let's get those arms working. Really get them pumping here. Oh yeah, everything's moving. 20 seconds. Good, go for a team. Working well. 10 seconds, bring it home. We got this. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. Quick, a little drink break. You might notice your heart rate's up a little bit. That is good. Good, just catch that breath. <clears throat> As always, this drink break never lasts too long. Whew. All right, last little challenge here. All right, so we're gonna get back into that rowing exercise. Legs out in front, both dumbbells. Take your time coming forward, squeeze your bum, pull them up. Definitely if this is a little tough and you notice that using the dumbbells is making the exercise a little bit too tough for you and you're not feeling so controlled, put those dumbbells aside, just do a body weight. But if you feel like you want to have a little bit of extra challenge and you're feeling comfortable and confident, then please join me with the dumbbells. Good. You may notice you want to add that breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Just makes it a little bit harder. Stay with me, your team. See if you give me another 25 more seconds. I know I ask a lot, but that's okay. You get a week off seeing me. <laughs> that's, enough, that's enough break. <laughs> we can get right back into it. Hey, or you can do this again the next day and the day after that. Completely up to you how many times you want to do these sessions. They're all available for everyone, anytime, any day. Three, two, one. Good. Alternating calf raises. So what you're doing is pushing down on your legs. Get those calves working. We've got three minutes here, Tim. We're gonna give it everything we've got here. Give it everything we've got. Get those calves working. Good. Three, two, one. Let's go. Alternating lifts with it there. Just keeping it there. Notice I'm using my hands to stay, to keep that dumbbell in place. If I wasn't, this dumbbell would be falling everywhere there. So trying to get my legs there. I'm just gonna swivel myself to the side just so you can see. I'm leaning slightly forward, so this will be me upright. I want to lean slightly forward on this. Good, there's nothing wrong with leaning a little bit back, but I like that leaning forward. It makes it just a little bit harder, forces you to engage your abdominals. I'll automatically fire up a little bit just to keep yourself in that position. Good, it is a little tougher. That's okay. Good. Four, three, two, one. Good, just gonna rotate my foot around. Pop them on top of your feet. Let's lift those legs up. Good. Lift it up. See if you can get a good hold at the top and change them up. Good. Heart rate's going to be up a little bit. That's A-OK. -okay. That's A-OK. -okay. We've got this. We have 20 seconds here, then we're going to stand up and we're going to do our boxing, our last part of it there, our punching. We're going to get it all done. Ooh. Shake out those arms if you need to. Good, you notice a little bit of tension in the legs. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, make sure you've got room. Really important, make sure you've got room. Left leg in front, right leg behind. We've done these ones before. Let's throw those punches. <sighs> Punch in the middle, that's good. Remember how this works, low. Punch it down low, definitely. You don't need to use the dumbbells. If the dumbbells are too heavy, you just want to use your arms. That's fine. Middle, high, get them up high. It's gonna get a little tougher here. But we've got this team. Good, switch legs. Keep punching up high. Middle. Give me 30 more seconds here, team. Blue. Finish it strong. Middle. Switch legs. High. Switch legs. Stay with me. Low. Switch legs. Middle. High. Middle. Switch legs. High. Low, home straight, home straight, switch legs, high, low, high, and we're done, good work, move all around, shake your arms out, Whew. hey that's great, alright let's go for a cool down, nice work team, and what makes that real fun is, 
is you can go and punch as fast or as hard as you want and without dumbbells or with dumbbells or finding something in between that there. So if you've only got a two or three kilo dumbbell but finding something that weighs a kilo, you can just slowly build on that. Cross over legs, great fun. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know if everyone can see. Um, just have a bit of a look there. Yeah, you might be able to see. We've got our maple tree, that uh, Japanese maple that we've had ever since we moved in. And for those who uh, yeah, used to do a good class to speak of it and say we've never actually trimmed the back there. It is just growing absolutely wild. And we both, Amy and I, absolutely love that it. it's grown absolutely wild. And yeah, only in the last couple of days have we noticed all the leaves have just sort of shot up onto it. And yeah, you can just see it's, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of life in it. Yeah, she's pretty hardy. And just so much fun. I'm hoping everyone else is enjoying getting some work done in their backyard and put your over legs. It's just a lovely time to, you know, if you're not feeling comfortable leaving your home to just still be outside, you know, absorbing a bit of vitamin D, getting out, getting some sun on you and still tending to the garden. I think it's such a, it's such a winning situation. Awesome, quad stretch. Um, and tips and tricks, oh please, don't hesitate to add some in the comments. I do love uh, hearing some wisdom that you've all gathered over the years because I'm going to need as much as I can to tend to this garden. Uh, very lucky that I've got uh, superstar Amy who knows who knows much, being a kindergarten teacher, but uh, I am very much on the beginner scale, so I am eager to learn. Uh, so yes, anything that you may have, whether it's a website that you point us to or just some little... Um, tips and tricks that you've learned over over your time, yeah, please don't hesitate to, to pop them in the comments page. Switch over legs, because I can very much do with them. I've got the basics done. Water it. <laughs> Pick off dead leaves, generally. So you yeah, to get those things done. <laughs> Knowing whether something's dead or not, eh, so-so. Get a little better at it. Good kicking that quite a good stretch. And healthy stretch. Oh, lovely. Good to stretch these hammies out. Alright. Let's switch over legs. Good stuff, and yeah, thank you very much for everyone joining us for all these uh, for all these sessions. I will keep putting that content together. Um, and again, very much, um, very much willing to adapt to whatever it is that people are interested in or wanting more information on. Please let us know whether it's in the comments page or you can message me personally. Um, absolutely fine. Just please let me know. And yeah, very uh, very excited to keep producing some great content. Um, and people are keep enjoying it because that's what it's all about. Our last one, good calf stretch, and then we'll get onto a tabletop there. Which is just give everything a bit of stretch, out, especially at the end there where we had some extra sort of stomping uh, movements that we did. Switch over. Good, just to find a bit of time to stretch in that out. Ah, oh, there we go. Two, one, and tabletop. Great work again, team. <laughs> nice to finish off the session. I can see you tomorrow if you're going to come back and do it all over again. Otherwise, next week, Wednesday, same time, I'll be here. Any questions, please ask. Great stuff, team. You have a great day. See ya.